just living my best life in the Love Island villa. Oh, my head is so scrambled. <laughs> oh, I don't know what fit fit man I should go for. Oh, 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 got a text, got a text. Becky, you have been chosen as the plus size fitty of the villa to do a I saw it first clothing haul. Hashtag cute thing. Hashtag subscribe. Hello, it's Becky and welcome to my channel. Uh, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I do plus size fashion, beauty and lifestyle videos. If that sounds like your cup of tea, if it floats your boat, if you would couple up with me on Love Island, <laughs> then don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram, like to know it or TikTok, all at Becca Wren. Um, I'd love it if you could also give me a follow there too. So, Love Island has started. Um, it's been on now for quite a few weeks and I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite shows to watch. Um, so, if you didn't know, <laughs> I Saw It First is Love Island's official fashion partner for 2021 and they actually do plus size clothing um so i thought as a homage to my favorite show although they don't have the greatest plus size um representation um actually none <laughs> uh, i do appreciate that i saw it first um, offer plus size clothing so basically i want to try clothes that you would normally see on the islanders on a plus size body so they're a little bit more bodycon a bit more figure hugging so appreciate that these clothes might not be for everyone they're going to be definitely out of my comfort zone um, but i just thought let's have a hot girl summer we might not be in the love island villa or even casa more uh, but we're here the sun is beaming, my fan is going, and yeah, let's get cracking on. So warning, there's probably gonna be a lot of puns, a lot of Love Island references in this video. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I love Love Island. Um, so first up, we've got this very hot orange piece. Um, I've never ever tried, um, I saw it first plus size clothes ever so i did get everything in a 24 that was the biggest size they currently do oh my gosh oh my gosh okay this is gonna take some working out so this is like a two-piece but conjoined so it's got like a crop top now this is definitely i feel like something you would see on one of the girls in the villa how much under boob has there been in this series um so we've got this top part and then this bottom half it is a stretchy ish material oh a lot of can you guys hear the boats i wish i was going on a way on, on a boat um so I, this is in a 24 and it's 95% polyester and 5% elastane so super stretchy obviously this is going to be super uh, body hugging and um, so I might pop some like shaping shorts underneath but obviously we have this like cut out detail at the top so we're just going to have to play this by ear love the colour though definitely out of my comfort zone but let's try it on um, so here is this first little fiery number um, I have got shapewear on underneath. Um, I don't normally wear shapewear in any of my haul videos because I never wear shapewear, but I think this is making a big difference. Um, so yeah, it's definitely very different to anything I would pick out normally, but I feel like this is definitely a dress we would see on one of the girls in the villa. And I actually think I look pretty good in it. Um, I like how stretchy the material is. It was a bugger to get on. I needed my mum to help me out because it's all conjoined, but it's almost like um, two pieces. 
So it was a little bit tricky to get on and also I will say, I think you'll need to work out your bra. I don't know what the underwear situation is in the villa, but they seem to have like, I don't know, the world's best tip tape or something because everything's held up and no bras are seen. So, <laughs> um, but I've just got on my normal underwear. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a very um, bodycon dress. Definitely a kind of a night out occasion dress. Um, it's comfortable, but obviously you're going to have to be comfortable in yourself, showing off all the goods. So yeah, I think this one's really nice. I also love the length as well because it's not showing the shorts. It's long enough. Uh, so I'm going to give this dress a thumbs up. I quite like it. So up next we have this animal print number, this little cheeky zebra moment. This is a zebra mesh overlay cami midi dress. So again, I thought this would be something that they would probably wear like at night. <laughs> this is just me planning all of my Love Island outfits basically. Um, so it's this really cute, definitely bodycon again midi dress. Um, it seems quite stretchy. Yeah, super, super stretchy again. Um, I will just say though, the kind of white um, fabric underneath with this black zebra mesh makes the zebra mesh almost look a bit gray. Um, but I think if you wore this with some nice jewelry and some heels, um, definitely, definitely hot gal summer. Um, it does feel quite like fit because obviously you've got the two layers here. Um, it is strappy, but there is no adjustable straps. Obviously I saw it first is a very like affordable brand. There's always, um, like coupon codes that you can use, um, scattered across the internet. Uh, so this is 95% polyester, 5% elastane. I'm seeing a bit of a theme here. Um, it's got quite a cute little kind of like round, rounded V-neck. I do like a V-neck and I think it's very flattering on the, on the boobies. <laughs> and it's definitely like a midi length. Again, I think shapewear will definitely be my friend <laughs> with this type of dress. Um, but yeah, super excited to try it on again definitely out of my comfort zone with it being a lot more bodycon um but yeah i think you could rouge this up a bit to make it look a bit more like flattering but yeah let's see you're going on a date you're going on a date a date a date <laughs> a date 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 so mum thinks this is a date look yeah i think yeah? so mm. um again very very bodycon um but i think with the shapewear it actually looks pretty decent. Again, super stretchy material. It's really hot today, guys. So I feel for those guys in the villa because wearing all these like bodycon clothes, it must be pretty tough. They've got a tough job out there. <laughs> um, but this one is, again, very, very comfortable, very, very stretchy. Um, and just quite sexy, to be honest. Um, it isn't adjustable but it falls quite nicely. I think also if you've got like a bigger chest, I think this dress could potentially set your assets off quite nicely. The only thing is the um, mesh overlay almost looks a little bit gray where the black zebra print is. That is the only fault I can really find with this dress. Um, I really love the length again. I think maybe like a nice little chain belt could look really cute um, or maybe some like fluorescent heels i feel like fluorescent is a big trend in the love island villa so um yeah again i think this is um a really nice dress very comfortable it's definitely out of my comfort zone but i think with the shaping shorts i think i look great so again thumbs up for this dress so i am in love with all of this like crochet knitted stuff <laughs> currently on the I Saw It First website. Also, I am recovering still from COVID-19. I did get the COVID. Um, it wasn't as horrendous as I thought, but I wasn't very well. So if I'm sounding a little bit, uh, it's because I'm recovering. <laughs> okay. Um, so first up with the crochet, I have bought quite a few crochet pieces just because I think they're so cute. Um, I got this lime green little knitted 
number i feel like love island contestants love a neon um Faye, she's always wearing all of these like neon dresses and stuff um and i just thought like if they were going on a date during the day like this with some shorts and some wedges they love a wedge during the day would look super cute it is i'd say it looks quite small for a 24 but it is um knitted so there is a bit of give in it so i think we'd be fine it's definitely um i'd say like true to size slash on the smaller side of a, of a 24 if you know what i mean um i don't think you could like get away with sizing up if you're a size 26 but i did notice on the website that the 26 and 28 were like blurred out so maybe they will be adding those extra sizes um, but this is just so cute um how much, not how much was it I'll, obviously everything will be priced when i try it on uh this is made out of 100 percent acrylic as made in the uk that's cool um but yeah love the color love all this crochet stuff not sure like how hot this would be though to wear in the sun i don't know but love the color love the style let's try it on with some shorts uh, so here is this really cute little like fluorescent lime green crochet top it does fit very nicely it is very like to this to the body though i did think it was going to be a little bit looser than it is but i still think it's really really cute this is definitely like a holiday piece but again i don't understand how you're going to wear crochet when it's really hot <laughs> it is quite warm but obviously it's quite small like it's a little crop top so maybe you get away with it i do think it looks really really cute with some shorts i think if you've got a little bikini top underneath maybe you're heading to lunch after you've been on the beach all day or by the pool all day this could just be a cute little throw on outfit um i love the color though it's so summery here it is um quite like the cut of it as well i wouldn't wear a bra with it i definitely wear like a bikini that kind of matches um, these are just my favourite kind of like ASOS denim shorts. I'll just link them down below. But yeah, I actually really like this top, so thumbs up. So up next, we've got a couple of items. It's a swimsuit and a cover-up. So obviously, if you're on Love Island, you're constantly wearing a bikini. <laughs> I saw this swimsuit. Oh, okay, here we go. It's a, <laughs> it's a cow print um so it's off the shoulder type situation here and then you've got the bottoms here no idea how this is going to look at all this might look a bit ridiculous it is cow print as well they like they like a weird print as well on love island that's okay i just thought i'd give it a go this is super super out of my comfort zone um i did get this in a 24 it is very stretchy also has the um seal of hygiene on the on the bottoms there which is always good to see um this is very different swimwear that i'm used to trying on um yeah <laughs> obviously i'm gonna wear my own underwear on when i try this because i don't know how high rise it's gonna be in terms of what it's made out of it's 85 percent polyester 15 percent elastane so um i think you could actually swim in this as well if you wanted to anyway and um, then to go with it i got a white cover up because in the villa you're you know you're in mallorca it's very hot and sunny and you don't want to get burnt because they're all looking quite tan in there at the moment so this is from brave soul um i didn't realize that when i bought it it's just a very simple white cover up and i thought that would look perfect with this uh cow swimsuit and there's just some like tassels here at the bottom um it is actually super super simple maybe a little bit more simplistic than i thought but obviously with a white caftan you can then just literally pair it with everything it's very very lightweight very airy feeling um so this is 100 percent cotton so obviously quite good to wear in the sun would just say a little reminder that um if the material is quite thin uv rays can still actually go through it so don't forget to still put your sun cream on even with your caftan on is that a rhyme might have been a rhyme 
Becky, the bombshell, is on her way to Love Island. Watch out, boys, because here she comes. So, guys, I'm actually shook um, with this one piece. Um, so, let's just talk about the throw over first. Very simple. Um, I feel like it's quite a lot of money for what it is. Um, I feel like you could probably pick something like this up in Primark, being 100% honest. But I feel like it goes really nicely because you've got the, the white cow print with the white throw over. It's nice if you're just looking for a basic though, you could probably find it elsewhere, but there's nothing wrong with it. I think if you use a discount code, you could get it for a reasonable price. But this little number, I'm in love. It is so comfortable. It was actually surprisingly easy to get on um, and it fits really, really well. Um, I got this in a 24, but we all know I'm definitely bigger in the belly region and it, it's fitting really, really nicely. Um, it's not too high cut. I thought it was going to be showing all my downstairs area, but it's not. Um, I absolutely love it. I'm not the huge fan of the cow print. I know it's quite a trendy print. But I am going to look on the website and see if they do this style in any other colours or patterns. I think it looks incredible. It's like an S. So you've got like the panel here connecting the two. But then you have like nothing here like a bikini. I love it. I'm so surprised how well this fits. Um, yeah. And obviously cow print is very, very trendy. Um... You know, if you're looking for your cow print bikini or swimsuit, go for this. And I think as well, because you have this kind of like leverage almost between the bottom and the top, I feel like that's helping in terms of like the length, because a lot of swimsuits cut you in half, don't they? And I feel like because you've got this kind of gap, it's kind of adjustable. Guys, absolutely stunning. Give it a go. It's definitely showing quite a bit of me, but I don't mind. We're in the villa. We're on Love Island. We're a bombshell. Ta -da! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we, of course, have another bit of crochet. I did promise some more. And wowee, look at this number straight out of the 70s. Um, how cute is this? This is such a bit of fun. Um, also, I pick up the accents and stuff so easily off Love Island. Um, so sorry if I've all of a sudden turned like Northern. This, <laughs> this looks small. Um, I will not lie to you. This looks very small. And I also think when it's on my body, it's going to get even shorter. Um, but let's just try it. That's what we're here for. We're here to try things. Again, shapewear will probably be my best friend with this one as well. And it is a little halter neck, which is super, super cute. I can't wait to try this one though. I hope it looks as cute as I think it will in my head. Again, though, with it being knitted, I feel like this would be very warm to wear. Um, so this is obviously 100% acrylic. Um, I just thought the colours were just so like clashing in such a cool way um yeah loved it i got it in a 24 um let's try it on um so this dress is definitely gonna get dumped from the villa um it's so short and so small is it a dress it's a dress Blimey. and it's really warm <laughs> it's really hot to wear um i would definitely want to wear shapewear with a dress like this again but <laughs> as you can see um, it's definitely not long enough. There's not enough length in the torso to accommodate um, a stomach. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no. <laughs> I think if you like this dress and you want to give it a go, I'd definitely size up, even if it's just to get a bit more length. Um, I could not go out in this dress, um, even without shapewear shorts on, because, like, yeah, there's my... It feelings. looks incredibly warm. It's really hot. Um, here is the, the fabric. Is it cotton? No. I can't remember. I said at the beginning, I can't remember now. Um, yeah. I think 
that's all we really need to um <laughs> yeah this was a fail of a date <laughs> again with the with the bold colors um <laughs> she says wearing the most neon dress ever anyway um this again is a color that i wouldn't normally go for but you know we're going all out um it's one of those kind of like stretchy dresses again but in this like yellow color again very very much out of my comfort zone here but i thought definitely one of the girls would be wearing this in the evening when they're going to do a recoupling when you don't want to get dumped from the island looking like a lemon <laughs> um yeah it's definitely again gonna be very figure hungry and that's the thing with i think love island fashion is it, it is all very um body figure hugging because all the girls have the most stunning figure and assets and they want to show them off um so it, yeah it's like gonna be that kind of clothing um so this again i think would really help with uh shapewear i think my shape was black though which probably isn't gonna look amazing with the, <laughs> with the yellow but we'll give it a go um it is a size 24 I uh, can't find the care label but I imagine it's a polyester or a cotton I'm not sure um, but yeah let's try it on so here is this yellow dress and it does fit whether it's flattering I'm not sure I think if this was in a different color um, it might look a little bit better on me like a, a darker color like a black or maybe like um, a maroony red um but this color on my skin tone is not the cutest and um the shaping wear i've got is black so elephant in the room you can see it um but i do think it's actually quite a cute little dress again super super bodycon um uh, they do do other styles of clothing on i saw it first i was just picking stuff that i would see girls in love island wearing that are obviously like a size eight <laughs> So this obviously would look very different on them to me um, but it is again very comfortable like it is very stretchy um i just think the color isn't right for me um i think if you were tan or if you have a deeper complexion stunning beautiful but on someone as fair and kind of cool tone leaning it's not it's not very cute but um i think the dress if this was in a different color i think i'd actually really like it so on the fence on this one um but i think some of you gals might like it that's right we've got a figure shape i just all the colors and the knitted stuff it just i really was attracted to it i can't help it i think this is a little top yeah oh my gosh it's so cute the colors I like so like 90s early noughties love it again thought this with some blue denim would just look so so cute and i think if you had a little bikini top or something underneath um that would look so sweet as well um this baby has the less le least stretch out of all of them um again going in 24 and i think this is 100 percent oh 50 percent acrylic 50 percent cotton that might be why it feels a little bit different though but again love the colors uh, let's try it on so here is the final crochet top <laughs> i went a bit crochet crazy um i think i prefer the lime green one um this one's okay it's a little um less forgiving though it's not as um stretchy as the other one i think if this matches your bikini like maybe you've got a white or pink bikini it could look really really cute it is definitely a very open knit though, so you definitely want um, a bikini or bra underneath. Um, it's definitely like a, a preference on whether you like the colours though. Um, but I do like all the crochet pieces they do online. I do find crochet items quite hard to find in plus size. But I saw at first literally had a smorgasbord of crochet items. There'll be something that will float your boat, I'm sure, if you're in the market for it. Um, but yeah, I think they also did a matching skirt. So if you're interested in a little crochet cord, I'll link the skirt to you down below. But yeah, this is fine. It's okay. I prefer the lime one though. I think that one's a lot more versatile. So finally, I think we've got a little cord here. It's a halter neck and skirt cord in lilac. 
Um, it looks super, super cute on the model. Again, very, very bodycon. Um, so it's very, very simple set. I think this was super affordable. Again, though, I think it's going to be super, super bodycon. So we've literally just got this simple A-line, quite stretchy skirt. Um, so I think that's going to literally hug to everything. Grand. Um, and then we have this really cute little top very simple very simplistic interested to see how this looks together i think this might look a little bit horrific on me um oh we'll have to give it a go um what are you made out of uh 95 percent polyester five percent elastane i feel like that is definitely a trend um we've got going so this set i think you're going to need some smart shapewear some smart underwear because a lot, is <laughs> a lot is showing. I did try this on yesterday actually when I got it without shapewear and you definitely need shapewear with it. So it's kind of like a, you've just got to maybe go for like the knit for the knickers rather than the short, I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is, this is what it looks like. Again, very stretchy, comfortable material, but it is obviously a man-made material. So it is quite warm to wear, but it's a lovely color. I think lavender and lilacs actually suit so many skin tones. Um, I think this is this is really cute little co-ord set. Uh, again, just think you need the right underwear, um, but definitely something you could dress up with some cute accessories. Um, <laughs> yeah. My shapewear is currently an, an accessory um, in this outfit. I think as well, maybe in some different colors, I think it might look a little bit better, especially like darker colors and stuff. But this was really, really, really affordable. Um, so yeah, if you've just got the right things to wear with it or you don't mind not wearing shapewear, then this could be a really cute little going out set. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was just a bit of fun really. Also just to try out, I saw it first. Obviously I did pick up um, some quite different and out there styles for I saw it first. Uh, they do also do kind of a lot of um more kind of regular clothing uh let me know if you'd like me to do a haul where i just kind of pick up just the kind of regular everyday clothes this was just a bit of fun while love island's on i just thought we could all kind of enjoy trying on some of those hot girl summer styles as a plus size being and have a bit of chatter about love island in the comment section ah let me know uh, who do you think might win? What the couple might be? Will it be Lib and Jake? Hmm? Who knows? I don't know how far we are down the line when I upload this video, so I'm trying not to say too, too much. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I really appreciate it. Hope you're all staying safe and well and I'll catch you later. Bye!